Happy Saturday, community. Um, it's Pastor Angie, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Psalms as we're reading them through Lent. So we're reading 32, through 30, 32 33, 34 this morning, uh, or for today. And so uh, Curtis talked about 32 last Sunday in, in the sermon, uh, so talking about confession. And one of the powerful moments for me was... Uh, when he talked about how you can write your confession in the sand, your sin in the sand, and then wipe it clean. And uh, so hopefully you had some some moment of realizing the power of confessing our sins and um, going to a loving God who is going to gonna nurture us. But I want to I want to look at 33 a little bit more today. Um, in my in my Bible, a study Bible, it says the earth is full of God's unfailing love. And one thing as I was reading through, we could talk about praise, we could talk about worship, all of it comes together because of our awe for God's unfailing love. Um, and But that awe word is what I, what I want to talk about, um, that that's, that's what God um, is owed from us. I have, I have a, a, someone in my life who, who regularly asks me, are you just overwhelmed by God's love and God's grace? And I think that's something that that can happen. And, and often um, we want it to happen in our lives because God is so unfailingly good and loving that there is an awe uh, about that. Um, in, the, in the scripture this morning, in um, Psalm 33, we read verse 6, By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deeps in storehouses, the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. That's the God that we serve. The, the word fear often comes from being afraid and I and I like how they pair it here uh, with with the word awe because really it's God is more powerful than us um, infinitely more powerful God is more um, more is stronger and uh, and all-knowing and um, but also all loving and all grace filled and compassion and so the fear and awe go together, this, this sense that God is God and we are, are created by God. Um, and so we are, we are lesser, but the beauty is that it, it keeps reminding us that even though we are created, God still looks at us as, as beautiful and good and, and loves us and wants to, to be in relationship with us. And so it says, we will wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him, our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Lord, even as we put our hope in you. So awe and hope and praise, um, that's what we, we owe God today. And so I hope you find some ways to just look around. Um, maybe it'll be this evening with the stars if, the, if it's not cloudy. Maybe it'll be um, your loved one's face. You can look in awe and wonder at um, who God has created and all that God has created. Um, maybe it's looking at yourself in the mirror um, and, and seeing how God has, has beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully made you. Um, I'm going to include a song, um, So Will I, and it talks about singing our praises to God because we're in awe of God. Um, so it's by Hillsong. So make sure to take some time to listen to that. So will you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, we thank you and praise you for speaking the world into being, speaking the cosmos into being, uh, speaking us into being. Um, God, help us to be overwhelmed by your love, your grace, by the beauty of your creation, by all of your provision, uh, so that we can truly praise you and give you thanks today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Saturday to you.